killed at the Cincinnati Zoo last weekend was part of an endangered species. There are fewer than 200,000 western lowland gorillas alive today. You know, you can go see those gorillas around here at the Como Zoo in St. Paul. There are eight of them. But we wondered what is happening to mm. the gorillas. Why are these gorillas becoming endangered? And John took a look at that good question this week. We assume when you hear an, of an animal becoming endangered that often it has something to do with humans. Right. It's a, it's a people problem, essentially, is what it is. It's deforestation. There's a lot of logging that happens in the Congo and Cameroon, where these western lowland gorillas live. They also have uh, a problem with some of the trade that goes on. People in some of those countries, they're trying to survive, too, so mm -hmm. they'll kill the parents and they'll take the baby gorillas and put them in kind of a black market and, and trade oh, them off. Oh, interesting. So, is there something with gorillas, you know, with rhinos, they're always going for the horn and mm -hmm. uh, the tusk. Is there anything? That's valuable. Yeah, sure. yeah. Is there anything with gorillas? If, like if you look at like, uh, in just as far as trophies go, if you have a gorilla as part of your trophy collection, ones. that's one of the things that happens sure. here more mm -hmm. than anything else. John, There's I was really surprised by just how much it, they had declined, the population had. Because because I think when you it's get alarming. into numbers yeah. like less than 200,000, that's a very tangible number. And, and, and you said it's, we're just falling so quickly. Well, 60% in a drop in decline in population over the past 20 to 25 years, wow. roughly. And, and that's not just by chance. There's a lot of their habitat that's just mm -hmm. gone. It's destroyed. For Western lowland gorillas, but also mountain gorillas, their numbers are down too. It's a widespread thing. Gorillas too. I mean, it's not just habitat loss. It's not just the logging that happens and the poaching. They have diseases they can get as well. I mean, they're very genetically close to us, as you know, as you kind of know. And sure, uh, they get Ebola, they get malaria, yeah. they also get a form of HIV. So when your population is yeah. that small to begin with, and you have some diseases go through it, mm -hmm. it makes things even worse. Obviously, a lot of attention on this zoo, and zoos uh, have very much been on the forefront of trying to rebuild these uh, populations. Yeah, I think one misconception is that the zoos take gorillas from the wild and other animals from the wild, that typically doesn't happen anymore. They try and do a lot of that within their own mm. zoo, whatever zoo it might Try be. to breed so, it and have yeah. new... They uh, try and breed. And, and that's and what they were hoping they're, to do they, with A lot of zoos have been successful with that, which is a good sign. Um, but at the same time, you know, they're, when you have something like this, what happened in Cincinnati, it is sheds devastating. It's, it. Yeah, it sheds light on it, and it's when you don't have a lot to begin with, mm. that yeah. makes it tough. All right. Thanks, Chad. Mm -hmm.